This in the notes is going to be about neutrons and atom stability. Uh, the question that we are going to be answering is if opposite charges attract and the same charges repel, how do all the protons stay in the nucleus without just repelling each other and just blowing the atom up? So if we think about this, and if you didn't know this already, if I have two positive charges together, usually they repel each other, so they want to stay far away. And if I have a positive and a negative charge together, they'll attract each other and they'll stick close by each other. And this works the same uh, with two negative charges. So two negative charges will want to stay away from each other and opposite charges will want to stay closer to each other. Uh, so the short answer is that the neutrons act as sort of a glue holding that nucleus together. So I'm going to show you guys some examples of atoms I drew up and we'll write if they are stable or not. And I don't expect you guys to be able to memorize this just by looking at it. Uh, but if we take a look at hydrogen one, it's got only one proton and one electron. And the electron's got this huge amount of speed, so it doesn't actually ever fall onto that proton and stick to it, so it's just buzzing around. But that opposite charge kind of keeps it nearby. And there's only one proton, so there's not multiple protons to repel each other. So this doesn't need a neutron in order to uh, form a stable atom. So another example, this one's also stable, but you could see in carbon 12, we have six protons in our nucleus and six neutrons. If we took all those neutrons out, it wouldn't be stable and uh, the protons would just repel each other and that atom would not be stable anymore. All right, so this is our first example of a non-stable atom. So if we take a look, we got two protons in our nucleus and two electrons outside in our electron cloud. And those two protons want to repel each other and there's no neutrons to hold them together. So this is what we would call an unstable atom. So this does not exist uh, on Earth for, uh, yeah, does not exist. Uh, if we wanted to make that atom stable, what we would need would be two neutrons to help hold our protons together in our nucleus. So this would be an example of a stable atom. So we just talked about isotopes. So each element usually has a few stable isotopes, meaning that they can have a, a couple different amounts of neutrons and still be stable. When there are too many or too few neutrons, the atom is not stable and it will go through uh, what we call radioactive decay. We'll learn about that um, in, in uh, the next couple weeks. But think about it, if we have not enough neutrons, then we'll have our protons pushing each other away. And if we have too many neutrons, um, that gets a little more complicated, but we can't have too many neutrons because then it's just cluttering our, uh, our nucleus. So there's a, there's a good center, a good happy amount of neutrons that we could possibly have. Uh, and it depends on the size of the atom. So smaller atoms usually have a similar number of protons and neutrons. So we could think of carbon. Carbon has six protons and uh, between six or seven neutrons usually. Oxygen has eight protons and eight neutrons usually. So those would be smaller atoms. And if we get larger and larger atoms, we're going to need, well, we'll, we'll just read this here. Larger atoms usually need up to 1.5 times more neutrons than protons to be stable. So if we get larger atoms like lead, which has 82 protons, we're gonna need a significantly larger amount of neutrons to be able to hold all those protons together. So the last thing we're gonna cover in this notes is going to be 
atoms can be stable with up to 82 protons. 82 is kind of like that magic number, and 82 protons, that would be the element lead. Any other... I should say any more protons than that, and it doesn't matter how many neutrons we have holding those protons together, it can't be stable. It will decay over a period of time. So just remember the the atom that has the most amount of protons that can be stable is going to be 82.